Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to the second shelf and to yes, 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 it's a miracle attack video and one I wasn't tagged in. <laughs> I hardly ever do tags, I have to admit it. I have uh, this, this sort of schedule, I can only film two videos uh, a week, and then, you know, uh, I want to get all of the books across. So I'm, yeah, I, I think the last tag I did was months and months ago. So I'm sorry for all the people who tagged me in really, really good tags. Um, and now I'm doing one that I wasn't even tagged in, but it's in the sort of in the Christmas spirit. I saw this uh, on Stephanie's channel, uh, Time to Read. Uh, she's doing Vlogmas and one of her videos was about this tag, the book buying tag. And I thought today is the, what is the 18th or something? And people, you know, are buying Christmas presents and we bookish people buy books for us and for other people. So I thought this is a really nice tag, uh, you know, to talk about the questions all about our book buying habits, uh, particularly in this time of year. And I think that I might have done this tag way back when, uh, like, you know, in the dark ages. But who cares? I'm just doing it again. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so there are 13 questions. Um, and as you can see, by the way, from the thumbnail, I tag everybody who wants to do this tag, maybe in Vlogmas or not, or, you know, because I think it's, it's really interesting to talk about book buying. Anyway, let's get on with it. First question, uh, where do you buy your books? Um, and I think I might have said that in one of my videos already. I'm, read, I would say 99% of the books that I read are in English uh, because my channel is in English. I want to talk about the books. I want you to be able to read the books if you are so inclined. Uh, so even though I'm German, uh, I, yeah, I think this year I read maybe three or four books in German. But why am I saying, <laughs> why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this because I live in Germany and I complained already a lot of times, if you follow my channel, that it's very, very difficult here in Germany to find a bookstore that carries English books more than just, you know, the latest best-selling book by I don't know whom. Um, there is no bookstore in Cologne, only uh, having English books. I found a library recently in Düsseldorf, which is about half an hour by train. Uh, and they have, it's called the International English Library. But I'm digressing, which means I mostly, I order my books online. Uh, and yes, I use Amazon. I know that a lot of you are not in favor of buying with Amazon, but I'm, you know, uh, I want to get my books and Amazon is one of the few online uh, possibilities. There are others, Blackwells in the UK, and I do Book Depository, but that's also uh, Amazon. I have a, a, a German-based used bookstore uh, called Made Mops, <laughs> but that's also Amazon. But anyway, I, if possible, I order the book at my local bookstore, uh, but sometimes it's difficult for them to get the books, it's really expensive, or it takes a month, whereas Amazon can deliver two days. So I have to say I'm lazy and I buy a lot of books um, at Amazon. Yes, hate me for it. Um, number two, do you ever pre-order books? And if so, do you do this in in-store or online? No, I don't think I have ever pre-ordered a book. Um, I know that for authors, and I mean, I'm an author myself, it's helpful if you pre-order a book, uh, but I'm just not, I'm just not a reader <laughs> thinking that much into the future. I think, I don't know. Uh, I order new releases quite a bit once they have been released, but I'm not reading that many new releases. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry, fellow authors out there, but um, no, I never ordered a pre-order books. Uh, on average, how many books do you buy per month? And that of course goes with the, oh, I, wrong button, uh, with the later question whether you buy too many books. Um, if you 
watched my videos for a while, you will know that I only have one rule when it comes to book buying. I have to read more books every month than I buy. Sometimes that doesn't quite happen, especially when it's a birthday month or something, then I try to catch up the next month or I do the 30 books in 30 days challenge in August to catch up with all the books that I get for my birthday in July. Um, but that is my rule. And that doesn't mean that my physical TBR doesn't increase because I include books that I uh, read uh, on script or that I uh, borrow from somebody. So Every book I read counts. Whether it's a book that I actually bought in physical or ebook form doesn't matter. Uh, but that is my rule so that I have the idea that I still read more than I bring in. Um, and on average, I would say I buy about, including ebooks, 10 books a month on average, not the birthday <laughs> and sometimes it's less uh, but i would say average 10 10 books a month yeah that's my i would say that's a fair estimate of the average uh, do you use your local library number 4 well i just told you <laughs> how difficult it is to find english books and that i just found a library which is not local but at least in the nearby half an hour uh, in the next town over so to speak but there is there is a very good local library in cologne but it's again difficult to get english speaking books even with interlibrary loans uh, because yeah other libraries in germany don't carry english speaking books either so i would love to uh, and I, I'm planning on using that um, Düsseldorf library, the next town over, more next year. So we'll see. Um, the, number five, if so, how, 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 many, uh, how many books can you do or borrow? That doesn't apply. Uh, how do you feel about charity shop and secondhand books? I buy a lot of books um, uh, secondhand. We don't have... Charity, I mean, we do have charity shops that sell books, but that's German books. So I can't really talk about that. But I like used books um, also to keep the, you know, the expense a little in check because I feel that some of the books are really expensive and I want to have the new book. So it's like, I don't know, $25 uh, dollars, uh, for the for the new hardcover. But then I try to buy older books used. Like I just read Iris Murdoch, The Good Apprentice. I bought that used. Uh, I know that authors don't make any money from used books. But if the author is dead, I don't really feel guilt, you know. <laughs> so I also try to think about, because I'm an author myself, I also try to think about, how I can support authors. And I just said I don't pre order. So, yeah, <laughs> hypocrite me. But in other ways, you know, and I know, like I said, used books, you don't make any money from uh, used books sales. So, I, I try to have a sort of a balance between um, especially younger authors who just started, and I try there to buy the book uh, new, uh, whereas Certainly, if you're dead, I buy you used. But also, if you are a very established author, you know, uh, a, a best best selling author or very uh, well known, it probably doesn't hurt you as much if I buy your book used. But I try to be conscious about that. Um, do you keep uh, your red and TBR pile together on the same shelf or not? Um, Partly. I have um, a specific shelf that is for the current uh, physical books that I want to read. Uh, the books that I buy, projects that I'm uh, doing, like the 1001 books by female authors that I have to read before I die. You are probably familiar with this project. I talk about it extensively. So I keep those books on a separate uh, little shelf. But Books that I that have been on that shelf for a long time, and I feel that I'm probably 
not going to read them in the very, very near future. Um, uh, they migrate on the regular shelf. This is nonfiction here, um, but I have shelves with fiction uh, uh, by author Alphabet, um, and they just get a little green sticker on the spine, uh, a removable sticker, I might add, <laughs> because you know me and stickers, um, so that I know this is an unread book. I can see it, but then they migrate onto that shelf. Um, question number nine. Do you plan to read all of the books that you own? Yes. Maybe not now. Maybe not in, maybe it takes 10 years, but yes, I do. Uh, when I really look at uh, end of the year, I always look at the, the main shelf and also the, the little TBR shelf. Um, and I feel there are books on there that I'm quite certain I'm not interested anymore. They will be out of my house, but it's not many. It's not many, maybe two or three each year, not more than that. Um, number 10, what do you do with books um, that you own that you feel you will never read and felt that you didn't enjoy? Well, I already answered that question about the books that I will never read, but books that I didn't enjoy, I will keep. I'm a, a hoarder when it comes to book uh, books. I'm not curating my shelves like other people do. Nothing wrong. With either approach, it's just what you prefer. And I don't get rid of books, even if I didn't enjoy them or didn't like them. I really have to hate a book with a vengeance in order to think it's not possible for me to have it on the shelf. I don't think it ever happened. Uh, because it's all my reading history. They are all there. I read them all. That's how they all made me the reader that I am now, so I'm keeping them as long as I have enough space. I'm very fortunate that I have quite a bit of uh, uh, space in my apartment. I mean, that would be a reason uh, to get rid of some books if I had to live in a smaller uh, uh, place and don't have that many shelves. But for now, I can keep them all. Um... Uh, number 11, have you ever donated books? Yes, uh, not that many because they are all English. <laughs> but I donated books when I moved, for instance, from um, Holland uh, back to, uh, to Germany. I donated a lot of my Holland Dutch books. I donated a lot of my German books when I moved to Holland. Um, but more recently, not that much because there are not that many places I can donate English books to. Again, I hope that this uh, library that I just found, they also accept books if they are in good condition for their library sale that they have twice a year. So I might be able to donate books there because I'm not ever going to throw away a book ever. No, no, no. Um, number 12, have you ever been on a book buying ban? No. Um, I, I don't believe in that. I mean, not that if you are short on money and you just have to save and you can't buy and you fine, or if you have a certain goal with your TBR and you don't find that's all up to you. But for me, um, uh, I am, uh, you know, I work, I earn money. And I don't need to go on a ban, fortunately, because I, I'm not in a position that I can't buy books anymore. That would be uh, a reason for me to go on a book buying ban. But like I said earlier, for, it works for me to read more than I buy. And that is a system that has now worked for me for quite, quite a few years. And so it's not... Um, but it's also not that I'm not conscious of the books that I'm buying. I know that I read about, you know, between 10 and maybe 15 books on a regular basis per month, sometimes more, sometimes less, but that's about it. So when I buy the books for the next month that I plan on reading, I'm aware of that number. Um, so I'm not just buying books, you know, in the wild, so to speak. Uh, but I'm very fortunate that I'm not financially 
restrained in buying the 10 books that I regularly buy. Like I said, very fortunate. So, yeah. And number 13, uh, do you feel that you buy too many books? Uh, I think I've implicitly already answered again as wrong. Uh, anyway, I uh, implicitly answered that question. No. Um, I, I think everybody has to see what works for them and whether a certain number is too much, uh, especially the unread books. But I'm not... Um, I'm not panicky about the books that are on my shelves that are unread. Um, again, that system really works for me, also for my, you know, bookish health in my head. Um, and I don't feel I, I buy too many books. I'm, uh, I would want to read, be able to read more. Uh, I would certainly want to read double the books I read now. That would be fantastic. Uh, but that is a different question. Anyway, this is the book buying tag um, that nobody tagged me in. And I tag everybody who wants to do this tag. It's really fun to talk about that. Let me know in the comments um, whether you think you buy too many books. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Comments are welcome as always, also about other things than the buying stuff. And I'll see you all soon in the next one.